and we're supposed to have his back. You know, if it was up to us, he, he'd have stayed. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but I'm sorry, anyway, you were saying it had something to do with him? Uh, not necessarily him. But... Ah, uh, fuck it. It had to do with our father. Piece of shit. Well, hello. Okay, sorry. Okay, so this is my first time doing the cooking stream on the new one PC setup. I know that we're in the middle of an ad break right now because I can see it. Um, but for those of you that are subbed that are here, mods, how's the sound? Um, in relation to the music, can you hear me? well enough <laughs> like what are the vibes because i can turn the music down it sounds good okay perfect um the chat isn't going through on here for some reason i do have my phone this time, which is nice. That's not something I always have. Um, wait, Jaraxa, say something in the chat really fast. For some reason, like the laptop that I'm using, the chat is not showing up. Okay, that's really weird. All right, well, I guess that I will open the chat on my phone. Let's see. Let's see if there's like a way to just. Okay. Whatever. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna monitor the chat from my phone. Okay, so today, let me get the food that we're making. Today, this is so weird though that this like chat. Like registering or whatever whatever okay so today what we're doing is we are making hot honey chicken i'm excited i think i'm gonna break out a red bull i'm thinking about breaking out a red bull let me get this stuff i might drink You know, 
today I actually have a lot of energy. I don't really need this Red Bull. I don't know what it is. I'm still thinking about putting my hair up. I'm not sure. I probably should have thought about that beforehand, huh? Whatever. I'm gonna keep this Red Bull nearby. And I'm gonna think about it. So today, this recipe actually, uh, there's no stove top. It's all in the oven. Which is pretty cool. So we're gonna be chopping some stuff and putting some stuff in the oven. It seems. But yeah, I hope that everyone is very proud of me because I was like, I promise a cooking stream today. And I was like, I'm not going to let anything stop that cooking stream. I'm like, oh, I have to set it up. I forgot that I don't have like a setup on my, on my, um, my gaming PC anymore since I stopped using two PCs a couple days ago. Uh, and I was like, there was all kinds of reasons why I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to do this today. I might not, but then I was like, no, I've got to be determined and I have to fulfill my promise because there's already enough stuff that I promise that I don't do. Like, um, like learning Valorant. I still haven't learned Valorant at all. I still haven't played Valorant on stream. <sighs> That's like, I would say the Valorant thing is probably like the number one thing that I actually want to do that I haven't done. I'm gonna wash these potatoes really fast. But yeah, definitely the Valorant thing. Um, really want to do Valorant. Goth is going to help me with that. So that's nice. As soon as I hit her up. And then we can make that happen. But I've been, I've been really slacking. Really slacking on a lot of stuff. But you guys, you guys know why. I've explained why. Okay, I need to preheat the oven to 400. Okay. Oh, I really want to put my hair up now. I'm going to put my hair up. Give me a second. I'm going to get a scrunchie. I'll be right back. This feels better. Oh, ooh, I don't have the cookies, do I? Ooh, I think I closed out the cookies last night because I didn't want them to, um, I didn't want them taking up like CPU because the CPU situation was like very sketchy last night. If y'all remember, I think we got it figured out. <sighs> Me and Prince were like talking about it today and adjusting my settings. So 
Hopefully it's not going to be an issue anymore. All right, we have to cut the potatoes. All right, so here's my beef with potatoes, right? I feel like every time, I feel like every time I make potatoes, they're usually like home fries, like bake them, and they're not crispy enough. I used to like overcook the fuck out of them so that I could actually. But it wants me to do, it wants me to do like potato squares right now which I feel like I got really good at cutting potatoes into like wedges and you're throwing new shapes at me right now you know what I mean and I don't know how I feel about that how do I make a square how do I make it mathematically you know what I mean it just doesn't seem, oh God, okay, all right. Okay, so if I'm like, okay, well, they're not gonna be squares. It's, they're not gonna be squares. They're gonna be little triangles, things. That's what, <laughs> that's what we're gonna have. So it's gonna be fine. Everyone's gonna live, it's gonna be great. So I really like these, uh, I really like these recipes, the like baked chicken recipes. They always turn out delicious, like a hundred percent of the time. So I'm excited. I feel like these ones are too thick. What do I do? What do I do? I guess I'll cut them like, fuck, I don't know how I want to cut this to make it less. All right, this is, we're not off to the best start, <laughs> uh, but we're off to a start for sure. Um, so does anyone have any big plans this weekend? Anything you're doing? I am gonna go clothes shopping right after this. Another reason why I was like, oh, I like almost bailed. I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to do the cooking stream because I like, I'm going shopping. It's going to be too much in one day. But I was like, no, I promised. All right, so I'm going to start putting these on the baking sheet that they're supposed to go on. Ooh, this is gonna be so much potatoes. Like, I don't really need this many potatoes. I feel like the potatoes is the thing that they always give you a lot. Shopping for metal DTR pads for my leg eventually works again. How is that going, by the way? How are you doing? How are you feeling? Um, I'm going clothes shopping. I'm just gonna get like one outfit. Nothing crazy, just something small. This is, I feel like this is, I feel like I should make them smaller because I don't like when they're not crunchy. I don't like when the potatoes like aren't crunchy or aren't cooked all the way through, you know what I mean? Like, a raw potato is really not for me. I know that most people don't like raw potatoes, but I'm just saying, I'm really not trying to have it. Still hopping around on one leg. Gotta check up in about two weeks. Okay. Isn't it weird seeing me this early in the day? I feel like people think I don't exist this early in the day. Like, I just, you know what I mean? Like, my life starts at 8 p.m. PST. Which is kind of true, but normally, so this, this is actually what I do on a normal day. Um, on a normal day, I get up and about this time, I'm doing this. I'm cooking my meal for, you know, what will be my meal for the next two days. But 
I never stream this really, ever. I want to try to start, but you know the situation. I've got a million things to do. I I want to start RPing this early, to be honest. Because like I feel like there's so much that goes on in RP earlier in the day. Like there's a lot of people that RP earlier in the day. I'm just not one of them. I'm like always a DJ and it's completely by choice. Oh, and also, I don't know when I'm gonna make time to watch Arcane. I've gotta do the, I'm trying to do the League of Legends, get the Arcane gotcha skin stream. Honey Chimpkin, what's up, Misfit? I'm gonna give you meta right now, but we actually probably might run into each other in uh, in Wild because I think I'm gonna be so. We actually might get to see each other again. Why is my surface? Wouldn't that be nice? This potato is kind of this potato is kind of sussy. About time. I know it's been forever. It's like actually been years, hasn't it? Hasn't it legitimately been like two years since we've RP'd? The Dahlia Perma, right? I believe. This is so much fucking potatoes. That was so long ago. Feels like lifetimes. I really, I was thinking about this last night, you know, because I was sound checking my VOD to make sure my sound quality is okay since I just switched that. And I'm like looking at it and I'm just like, man, I really wish that people cared more about Red Dead RP. Because Red Dead RP is superior in every way and everyone knows it. And our peers know it. But it's just like everyone is so much more entertained by GTA, you know? And I hate it because I'm like, I wish that I could just like stream Red Dead as much as I stream GTA and still feel like, hey, thank you for the follow. I wish that I could stream Red Dead as much as I stream GTA and have it just be like, all right, yeah. You know, like, people are just as interested. There's just as much of an audience. But that is just not the case. Unfortunately. I don't know why GT is more popular. I think that's like... Mods, please, wherever you are. Um, what was I saying? I don't know why GTA is more popular. It's because like, honestly, I think that it has to do with it just being more chaotic. And I think it has to do with um, it being a younger audience, like, I think Twitch in general is kind of a younger audience and a lot of younger people what's up cozy a lot of younger people don't want they want like the action they want the memes they want the the SBS you know what I mean and like there's plenty of comedy in Red Dead but I think that it's just in general a much it's like it's definitely more mature content you know what i mean and by mature i don't mean like you know what i mean it's not as fast paced it's not as like you no know. 
but it sucks. I wish that I wish that more people were into it. Red Dead is way more immersive. Let's make myself some food. What are you making? The cooking is going good. That's so already chilling out here. Um, Red Dead is way more immersive, and just like the things that you can do in it are so much cooler. But, but it's, you know, it's a little more of an effort, and it's a little more, like, cringe in a way, because... Because it's more serious, you know? All right. Now I've chopped a million fucking potatoes. Um, I'm still supposed to do with them. Some pizza or a ham and cheese sandwich. Mm, are you gonna make a pizza, or are we talking? Are we talking like a uh, like a oven? Pizza? I like the seriousness, it just feels more enjoyable to me. GTA just feels like Second Life, too close to reality. That's the- that's kind of the other thing, though, It's like, it's really easy to have GTA be too Second Life-y. And I've, like, definitely- it's turned me off on a lot of GTA, where I'm like, like, some stuff, obviously gang stuff and robbing banks and stuff like that is great, but if it's not accessible, it's like, okay, so what? So I'm working at a restaurant? I work at a restaurant in real life. Like, why would I want to do that? You know? And even in Red Dead, it's like, even working at a bar seems just, like, cooler. You know? Because like, everybody's, like, coming in and being like, I just shout the law. And you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Tell me more, bro. Just a frozen one? Add cheese and jalapenos. See, like, the concept of adding stuff onto... Adds more to the feel, exactly. The concept of adding things onto cheap food was something that I really never even fathomed. Like, like people that are like, yeah, I make my ramen and then I put an egg in it and I put this in it and this in it and this, 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 and this. And I'm just like, oh. I, the thought never came to my mind. So we need olive oil, half the barbecue seasoning. Stop that. Salt and pepper. Okay. Okay. So oil. I played what's up what's up cool happy birthday by the way yesterday was it yesterday I played gta for a year where i was able to take away from reality was because i ran an mc but otherwise when i played my other character on that server he was a pizza delivery guy yeah exactly Ex exactly that's what i'm saying it's like all right okay now it's like just a little drizzle but i'm gonna put a fuck ton on because i want these motherfuckers oily Crispy and all of that. It's today. Oh, yay! Happy birthday! Is that truffle oil? Girl, no. That's just regular ass. That's vegetable oil. So I'm supposed to put half the barbecue seasoning. But how am I really supposed to tell what half of it is? Oh, God. It's in this packet. Like, all right, I think that's half. Oh god, okay, all right, I think that's more than half. Okay, whatever. GTA just has completely lost all its charm to me since first starting watching it 3.0. Got down watching half through when I started watching our Wild RP, WRP. Came back to 4.0 long, but very quickly we started watching again. You know, I'm not gonna talk too much shit because I don't want it to seem like I'm talking shit. Um, but I think that there was definitely a plot lost uh, with 4.0 for sure. I'm sorry that the cookies aren't the cookies aren't happening. I didn't turn them on. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Um, I think that the plot was lost a lot. Like 
there's a very like it's a very important okay wait am i putting these in the thing yet when am i putting the potatoes when am i putting the potatoes Twenty to twenty-five minutes. All right, we're we're putting these we're putting these motherfuckers in there right now. It doesn't say to do it until step four, but like I'm doing it right now. I don't care. That's twenty twenty-five minutes. Oh wait, four twenty-five. Four twenty-five. All right. Okay. Hey Siri, set a timer for twenty-five minutes. Okay, hang on. I'm going to read those comments, but first. Getting barbecue, panko. Okay, I think we're doing the, this. Oh, God. Hey, Siri, set a timer for 25 minutes. You bitch. I did, I did reheat. I did preheat the oven. The oven is preheated. Hey, Siri, set a timer for 25 minutes. What's happening? Hey Siri, set a timer for 25 minutes. Oh my god, I can just do it manually at this point, girl. Okay. Um to me it seems like 3.0 to 4.5 is really fast. I swear it was only like eight months ago. Me once I learned of and saw the content quality of Wild RP, it was just hard to go back to the Zoomer grind. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think that I don't think I need a bowl this big for this, but I guess I'll whatever. All right, I gotta heat this up. Attention span is five seconds. The Zoomer mindset from TikTok and shit like that really fried this generation. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, it's like I feel like nobody can just chill anymore. You know what I mean? And it kind of sucks as a content creator because. Like, as a streamer, I need to be like, all right, I need to be doing, like, 10 million things all the time now. I don't do that craft content all the time anymore. Waller was amazing. Slow burn, build up RP. Yeah, exactly. Should I drink this Red Bull? I don't need it. That's the thing. I don't need it. Like, I have enough energy. Oh, but I'm going to drink it anyway. Feels like if you're not in a gunfight, no one cares. Yeah. I'm in a large drizzle of oil. Okay. The seasoning. Mmm, that smells really good. Yeah, I don't know. Like, even in GTA, like, it makes me feel so much pressure because it's like, I know that there's tons of people that aren't constantly, like, go, 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 whatever. But it does feel like a lot of pressure to kind of like half, like, I can never just like chill. I always have to be like, all right, I have to make, I have to make, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like, all right, well, I have to make something happen right now. And then I'm like, and I feel like that's all I'm caring about instead of like, instead of just like vibing, you know what I mean? Like you kind of really have to be like, all right, fuck it, I don't care. And I'm just gonna like do whatever I wanna do, but it really is like, oh, okay, well, I gotta get myself involved in this, 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 and this, and then shit moves so fast, and like real life also exists if you're not a full time streamer, you know?
affect decisions. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I agree. But I think that just like, I think that the plot was kind of lost in 4.0 because what they wanted in cops eventually speeder, speeder, shootout, bang, swat, heist. Yeah, exactly. It does get like a little old after a while to do the same things. But I think that in 4.0, they really wanted to make things realistic. Like, that was the goal. They wanted to make it like, they wanted to make it more like Wild Art. Um, and they wanted to slow it down, but that wasn't actually like, there's some things that worked really well, and then there's some things that just really did not, and it pushed away the players. <laughs> I think that a lot of players really just really got pushed away quickly. Because they were like, dude, I'm a, you know, I'm a full-time streamer and I can't be grinding G6 for 10 hours on stream. Like, that's not really content. Yeah, exactly. But it's like, there's, I think that the problem is that The stale, a lot of staleness, I think, comes from people not interacting with new people because it's like you can have a group of friends and, and the, you know, a cast and everything that you're comfortable with. But when you've been doing nothing but RPing with each other, what's up, Diggy? Or like you're only RPing with each other for like a year. It's like you're going to run out of like inspiration. You know what I mean? No matter how fun it is to play with your friends, if you're only RP with your 10 friends, you're going to run out of inspiration. You're going to feel burnt out. Your viewers are going to feel like they're watching the same thing over and over again. And so I think that like loss of public spaces in a community was a big problem. Like, um, that's why they did the food court. I think, I don't know what I'm saying. I think that that's why they did the food court the way that they how it was like, oh, you can only get food from Senior Buns at first. And at first, that was great. And everybody was meeting people, everybody was working at Senior Buns, and like, it was really funny. But then, it's like, there wasn't any sense of community to grow from for that, that's also accessible publicly, like something like Rooster's Rest, right? And 3.0 is kind of the example I always think about. Like when I first started playing, it was in 3.0 when I brought Daphne into the city. And uh, one of the first things I did was go like perform music at Rooster's Rest, you know? And it was a really good way for me as someone that didn't know anybody to go to a public place, meet people. There was like a whole community around Rooster's Rest. And that's just one example. Like, when, you know, like, ooh, cafe. There was all kinds of these places that had these communities. What's up, Henry? That like, if you didn't know anybody, you didn't meet people. Say you even had just had a new character. You go to these, these, these places and socialize. And we don't really have that anymore. It's like, okay, it's the food court, but the food court's never open. Because no one wants to open the food court because apparently it's too grindy. And it's true. I mean, I remember when I was helping out at Slime Shack and I was just like, I was just like, dude, I just worked as a barista all day. I don't want to work behind the counter here right now. Like that sounds like the number one thing I don't want to do. And the new food system is, I think that it had good intentions. I just think that it didn't work out the way that it was supposed to. You know, Pixel gives America's got talent vibes for big streamers. You only get that kind of foot in the door to expand viewership if you're entertaining enough for them. Like, wait, what do you mean by that? Yeah, I love that though. Dang. No one wants to work a real job in the server. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so salt and pepper. We salt and pepper it. Okay.
And I think that the intention was really there with making it so like, okay, if you want food, you have to go to this one place. But the system was too complicated to the point where people didn't want to work it. And, and like I'm saying, it's not like a sense of community. It's not like a, because um, obviously if you guys have watched me, if you're a viewer of me over the years, you know that I have opened a bunch of business, a bunch of businesses, clubs, I've done restaurants, bars, um, and like the one reason uh, Salieri's and Ignite is what I always kind of point towards because it's the best example of this where Salieri's was the center for our gang. It was like the center for our gang, right? But we would hire people that were not mafia at all, like Chacha, you know, we had like a surfer, like a surfer guy that were main bartenders. And it was a community, like you come in there, they're like, our mafia group would be there. Uh, basically, it was the goal that I did achieve was I wanted everybody to, be able to come to Saudi for a get -work. And it's like, you go there, you buy your food. Thanks, Henry. You buy your food and you also chill. So it's like, yeah, you're going to have to feed yourself, but you're also meeting people and talking to people. And the mafia is coming over to your table to ask you your food is. You know what I mean? And in the food court, Oh, I was supposed to put oil on this. Oh, shit. In the food court, it's like, you don't get to talk to the employees. It's just like, you get in the line, and you get food. And then it's like, okay, well, like, you can't can't really RP, like, sit down, getting a meal. Like, I don't know if you guys saw the other day when we were playing with um, Pepe, Shannon, Gucci, and Prodigy. I had completely forgotten that going to a public place and sitting down and getting a meal and having the employee RP actually waiting at your table was uh, an option. <laughs> she like we she's like oh let's go get something we go to a bar and she's like oh instead of like like the employee totally expected us to come up and get our food and leave but Shannon's like oh we'd like a table for three like sit down talking to the the waitress and like all this stuff. And I'm like, oh my god, I forgot that this was possible because I've been in No Pixel in the food court for so long. I might have known you were on No Pixel prior, but I started watching you because of your work with Sam in Sam's Club. Well, yeah, because I actually got into No Pixel because of that. I got into No Pixel because of Wild. I don't know if this is true, but I think that I was the first person that was not in No Pixel before wild like i think there was a lot of people that uh, came, there was a lot of people that came over from no pixel to do wild uh in that big boom and i think that i was one of the first if not the first one of definitely one of the first uh small streamers that got brought into no pixel because of wild that's literally why i'm there because i always thought that i wouldn't get into no pixel like i i thought that it was some kind of him and I like it was it was above me and I I was before the first wave for sure um and that was because of Sab because um because I was RPing so closely with Sab an admin from no pixel actually came into my chat and was like are you like why are you not in no pixel you should apply and that's when I did, because I, like I said, I thought that it was something that was never possible for me. I thought I was never going to get in. I thought that, like I said, it was above me. And so since I got kind of invited, I was like, okay, yeah, like I would love to play in no pixel. I would love nothing more to play in no pixel. It's like a dream, you know? Um, so I started and, um, there wasn't really a lot of other wild RPers that were coming over at that time because they didn't really need to. You know what I mean? Like, wild was booming. Um, there was so much RP in wild. No one really cared to check out No Pixel. And plus, like, I'm, I'm sorry. These are my communities, but I'm going to call everybody out. Wild RPers are a little... They can get pretty snobby about... No pixel. 
I'm not saying that they're necessarily wrong, but it is like a social stigma thing that goes around. A bunch of people I saw in Waterpeas and later learned were actually first from NoPixel. Yeah, tons of people were coming over. Um, but there was also a lot of people that had already been in NoPixel, but they just played wild. Like, I'm saying that I was like, I was not in NoPixel whatsoever. And that, yeah, that boom didn't, that boom didn't happen for a while after, a, like a year after I started NoPixel, where everybody was like, all right, Wild is getting kind of slow for us now, so we're going to try GTA. And then they just stayed, everybody stayed, most people stayed, not everybody. Can tell a mile away if they come from NoPixel, yeah. But okay, Misfit, you're in, you're in Wild. Am I wrong when I say that like there are people that are like snobby about it? That's like no shade. I'm not saying it like no shade, but it's definitely I I personally think it's a cultural thing. That's very common. But but I was like I had not role played for very long. Um. And I'm one of them at times. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's like an elitist thing. I guess I should I should call it like an elitist mentality. Um, but it's, you know, when you look at it, it's kind of valid because the server is focused only on roleplay and no pixel is, you know, there's a lot of content server stuff on no pixel. I'm not, I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm not throwing shade. Um, but... What was I just saying? What was I just talking about? Depends on the RP. Yeah, exactly. Bring in a group and completely show the vibes of the server and sometimes not for the best or make them more pixely and then they do the effects are so small. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. I, oh, what I was saying is like, I, um, my kind of journey you know, from Wild was like, I have actually not been RPing as long as a lot of people think that I have. Um, I had only been RPing for like less than a year when I was doing the Sam's Club stuff. And I think that I'm just, I'm a, like a trained actor. So I think that people thought that I was way more experienced with RP than I am. So I was very much not burnt out because the server is not for some kind of thing. Yeah, that makes sense. I was very much not burnt out. Like I had, I had been playing GTA, and I didn't honestly get that much GTA before I went to Red Dead. So I was very much like, like I remember the, I tell this story every time this comes up. Like I remember the first day I was in No Pixel, and I was like, <laughs> I was like a kid in a movie. Like I remember driving on the street and i'm just like oh my god i'm in no pixel right now like this is crazy daphne is in no pixel like i've that's where i found out about roleplay even existing was watching no pixel streamers and so i was like i i literally remember going to like the cerberus building and like looking up at it and being like wow <laughs> like a total dork you know um, once potatoes have roasted five minutes, add the chicken. Oh, these potatoes have been in there for like 15 minutes at this point, but it's fine. Okay. Hey, hey Siri, set a timer for 18 minutes. Okay, um, my Siri is, she's... Okay, whatever. 
Sometimes you'll get no pixel RP who comes in dresses in the goofiest outfit and just acts like something out of Common Thunder where they play some stereotypical. Yeah, that does happen. Um, and I think that the people that were doing that kind of realized quickly that Wild is not the place for that. I mean, like, I'm not gonna lie. When I was, um, when I was playing Dahlia all the time and I was in Wild RP every single day, um, there definitely were people that would come in and it was like oh fuck, this is a no pixel person you're gonna get banned in like in like a day and half the time they did but there's other servers like for people that wanted to just do like sbs goof around stuff like there's other servers that don't mind that at all I'm, just, I'm, supposed to, I'm supposed to like steam this broccoli? It's crazy. I never saw, I never saw Penta do it. But yeah, I think that there's definitely other places and other servers that don't mind that type of thing. But wild is not one of them. You will legit get banned and with swiftness, which I mean, that's kind of why it is what it is, and that's why it's known as like this or piece that exists, you know, because they do that. I do like, um, there really is just nothing like wild, it's true. Prodigy Red is also sick, and it's a little more open, um, as far as the humor that you can get away with things like that, but there really is nothing like wild man. That's why I'm they keep pulling me back in. But yeah. Run turn the noise gate down. Oh, am I cutting out? Am I being too quiet? I can I can talk louder. I'm trying to not talk super loud, but I can talk louder so I don't cut out on the gate. Um, but yeah, so then like, I had been playing in NoPixel and I've been doing the music industry stuff, especially when, um, when like Dahlia was getting really too hard to play, I would go into NoPixel a lot and I was having a really good time. And then I think like a year later, is when the boom came and everybody from wild was like all right well now we're gonna try out no pixel and i was like oh, welcome everyone welcome 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 but i think that a lot of the wild our peers people forget that i've started as a wild our peer i'm not gonna lie and i think that maybe because i kind of dropped out because of the dahlia perma before like the big boom of wild our peers coming over because it's like There'd always be these, I mean, I'm also, nobody knows who I am. Also, I'm like a very small streamer, so they're, they're like that. Everybody, I, I don't think that people know that I came from Wild RP. When people list off, like, oh, these are all the people that came from Wild RP. I'm never on those lists, which is funny. Because I was like, one of the first. <laughs> I don't know. Get good, I guess. I gotta get good. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I know that a lot of other wild R peers have like felt it. Like, man, this is fun, but there's a lot that we miss. It's the, I think the, the immersion is the biggest part. It's hard to get immersed in GTA in general because it's like people, people in GTA make so many, um, people in GTA make so many like out of character jokes. And if you're a wild art here, an out of character joke feels like someone just broke the law. It's like going to Ren Fair, but the Wild West, yeah. But no, for real, you know what I'm talking about, though, right? Like, if somebody says something about, like, 
I'm eating in my head or something like that. In Wild RP, that would be like, hang them. You know what I mean? <laughs> but in GTA, it's just like totally normal. And I'm always just like, yeah. Once it Riz in Wild? No. <laughs> I even struggle with, um, I struggle in Wild a lot with slang. I don't, I'm not really bad with it, but like last night, for instance, I caught myself say, hang out, and I was like, nobody said hang out. I was like, no, three. I was like, I was like, well, you can come to the bar and hang out with me. And I'm like, said keep me company because that's what someone in 1903 would say <laughs> I don't know. I don't trust it. I always put these potatoes in longer. No shot. Well, I say no shot, but I think that no shot isn't bad in, the, in certain contexts. Like last night, someone was like, I was like, the robbers came back, no shot. And I think that that's a little more of a general, like that is slang, but it's like easily understandable. Whereas, yeah, is insane to say in Red Dead. That's insane. Um, okay, I'm supposed to put him with a teaspoon of water. I'm gonna be honest, I hate where this is going with the broccoli. Hate where this is going. I'm like steaming broccoli in the microwave. Don't feel great about it. I'll punch anyone if they say bro at me. Matt, it's just more like, come on, man, you get to enjoy this Wild West experience, have fun with it. Yeah, true. Bro. Well, I don't think that people in 19 would say bro. It might be like brother. But I don't think they'd be like, bruh. Or like, if you said bro, you were literally referring to like, your blood brother affectionately, you know? I'm supposed to poke holes in it like a fucking terrarium. Put water, punch holes in it, microwave one to two minutes. Is crazy. That's not enough fucking water. Like one teaspoon? One teaspoon of water? In here? Are you fucking kidding me right now? I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I'm putting more. I'm putting more water in. I can't do it. It's like one and one and a half. Okay. And the fact that they're telling me that this broccoli is going to be tender after one and a half minutes of microwaving with a teaspoon of water in it, I don't believe them. And like, I, uh, it's stressing me out, honestly. <laughs> like, it just seems false. Have you watched any of the first episodes of Arkeen? I have not watched any Arkeen yet, and I'm so excited for it. I am, um, yeah. I'm so excited. I don't want to watch it out of order or anything. I wanted to, bro, well, I'm scared. Like, I'm actually terrified of what's going to happen with this broccoli. Mm. 
Now see the potatoes are looking, they're looking good. They're looking good to me. Pan. <laughs> oh God. I should have shuffled them a little. Okay, in all fairness, I should have shuffled those at some point in the... No, I didn't put a piece of paper there. Tin foil? Fuck tin foil. That potato tastes good. I right, see this tender broth. Was I supposed to put salt and pepper in there? It actually is tender. That's kind of fucked up. I'm gonna do another 30, but that was kind of fucked up that that worked. I don't know how I feel about it. What's up, Jacoby? How you doing? I don't know. Maybe that discussion was over. It is a big ass kitchen. It's a big ass kitchen and a big ass house. Yeah, we were talking about um, we were talking like about RP stuff before, but I think we're. I think we've moved on. I think we said pretty much everything. I mean, well, we've never. But we said a lot of stuff. Oh shit, fuck. Let's dream this first. Damn. I'm very excited about Arcane. Okay, salt and pepper and butter. All right, this worked and it's kind of upsetting me actually. Uh, no, I live in Vegas though. I don't live in New York anymore. It's been about, oh my God, it's a year and a half since I moved away from New York. So sad. I miss it every day. I'm going back to LA though soon. Okay. All right. This broccoli turned out kind of awesome, actually. So whatever. Arcane is releasing weekly three episodes at a time. Ooh. 
Oh, see, I saw that a riot was doing a walk party, and I actually clicked in on it today. But start in the middle. Vegas seems really good if you get a big ass house. It is. I actually like Vegas a lot. Thank you. But I really want to go back to LA. I want to do still there. But yeah, with the right setup, and if you're not poor, Vegas can be great. I've been poor the whole time I've been here. So, <laughs> except, except like a little bit when I had like a really high paying restaurant job. But I love it. <laughs> LA Schmele. I love LA. I really like LA. Guys, it's almost time. The food's almost done. Well, I guess I can just put the stuff in here now. Add our broccolis. And my questionable potatoes. They're not that questionable, but they look good. Or they, they taste good. They tasted it. It was good. Potatoes. Yeah. God. It's like not enough room for the chicken. Chicken time. Just make sure that it's cooked all the way. That looks like a good chicken to me, boss. Nice and juicy. Mm. Now I'm gonna put it in here. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. And I'm gonna put this extra extra panko in here because I love me some panko. Just throw it on there. Okay. Looks really good, right? Mm. Now, here's the thing though. I feel like they did not give me enough Mike's Hot Honey. This one little pack of Mike's Hot Honey, I want to drench this motherfucker in hot honey. So, what I might do is I might use some maple syrup. And some hot sauce on it. Hi, baby boy. Baby. Yeah, me in the tummy. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, I'm gonna need definitely way more honey than this. 
I love Mike's Hot Honey. Have you guys had uh, Mike's Hot Honey on pizza? <laughs> Jace definitely smelled the chicken. Yeah, see, this barely, like, covers it. Oh, but I will say one other thing, though. Fuck, I shouldn't say anything, actually. Please let me play in NoPixel. I, I love playing in NoPixel. <laughs> I don't want to say anything that could even be taken as shade. I... I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I don't think that only letting the big streamers in first is gonna be the flex that they think it is. I think that they're trying to say... I think they're trying to be like, well, the big streamers are usually better content creators, and so they're not going to grind. They're... But the thing is, if you're only like, if you're like, we're only going to let the big streamers in, I can't speak for them because I'm not one of them, but I feel like they're going to get bored really fast because they're going to be like, oh, doing the same things with the same people I've always done stuff with again you know what i mean i feel like i feel like they're gonna get bored that's just my opinion, it's just my opinion. i don't think we should talk about it like a lot because <laughs> i think that <laughs> like theories and ideas i i've yeah oh my god this is so good mm. Wow. Mm. so good how are y'all feeling are you proud of me are you proud of my honey chicken it's delicious mayo get some QP mayo for these potatoes <clears throat> oh. oh my god wow Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. If y'all haven't invested in QP mayo instead of regular mayo yet. it's so much more superior. I'm sorry, you guys couldn't see my food. But yeah. So the plan for today, um, I'm going shopping. And then, honestly, I'm probably not streaming, but I would. Speaking of no pixel, I would like to stream no pixel tonight, perhaps. Mm. 
So if I do have time, then I'll stream no pixel tonight. But I probably will not. We will see. If I do, it'll probably be like a late night thing. Maybe without camera, not sure. Right, it is the Rust server. That's why I played, uh, that's actually why I played Wild last night. Cause I was like, oh, there's tons of people on the Rust server, so. Well, we'll see. I probably won't be RP streaming tonight anyway, so. We'll see, but I took off on Monday. Because someone asked to work my shift. So I let her have it. And I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I can get like, maybe I can get a long day. Monday. This is so good. Wow. Okay. Well, anyway. Thank you for the chats, everybody. It was super fun. I love the cooking streams. I love the, the talks. I didn't eat this Red Bull, but that just means I have more Red Bull for tomorrow. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end stream. Um, if I'm on tonight, if I'm on tonight, I'm on tonight. And you'll see, you'll see. but, <laughs> but I, I probably won't be. Um, um, if I could get a, are any of my mods present and accounted for right now? Thank you. I was gonna have my mod do the commands. Cozy, would you do? Oh, Drexus is here. Thank you. Could you do the commands, please? Uh, Cause I can't right now. Could you do uh, command um, socials and command Discord? Um, I'm not gonna do a raid, but uh, if you're not in the Discord, that's the best way to know when I am live, um, because there's a notification that goes out. So don't turn the don't turn the notifications on that channel off. Or you're a fake friend and then you'll know what i'm doing live um okay. good day everybody i will see you um probably probably more.